Good evening all you gearheads out in uh, YouTube land. Welcome to my uh, my house of blues here. Um, tonight I am going to demonstrate some different effects that I have on my pedal board. Um, so I have like two rows of effects here as you can see. I've got a two channel amp which has a clean channel and a dirt channel for my lead tone. And um, over here I've got a volume pedal so I can do I can do volume swells or just if I want to take a break, turn the volume off, set the guitar down and I'm good. When I come back, pick the guitar up, hit the volume pedal, and I'm ready to go. I've also got a Y pedal here. Um, I don't think it has a battery in it, so it's we're not going to demo that. Um, and then I go into an AB switch here. The AB switcher basically um, sends the signal either through the bottom row of effects, which is set up for my clean channel. So it's going to the right side channel, and um, that's the one I'm playing right now is the clean rhythm channel. <laughs> got some reverb turned on at the um, Blue Sky Strymon pedal and I've also got a little chorus on. Let's turn the chorus on. Now I will turn on the TC stereo chorus. Super Black by Mad Professor, and that is a, um, it's kind of like the front end of a black face Fender Twin Reverb. It's like a preamp pedal. And, uh, so that just gives a little bit of hair uh, on the clean. That's a really cool pedal, I like that. Then I've got my delay down here. I've got it set for a tape echo. slapback type of effect and there are a whole lot of different settings you can do with that that by the way is a boss dd20 giga delay pedal so that's the clean channel and that's cool and all but this is where i, I reside most of the time is on the dirt channel so i'm going to switch to the, the the a b pedal i'm going to go to the b and uh so that's with no effects turned on other than a delay uh, I have a Carl Martin Delayla pedal, which is like an echo plex type of uh, simulator. You hear that, that echo? So here, um, I've got one, two, three, four, 
Right now I've got four like drive pedals, overdrive slash distortion pedals. Uh, the first one in the line is probably the one that has the least amount of gain to it or, or grip. And that is made by Ad Rock. It's called an Old Yeller. And uh, so I'll, I'll go just to the clean. Let me get to the bridge picked up because you'll really notice it. the old yeller now we're going to go to my uh, missing link audio peacock pedal and uh, we'll listen to the same thing <laughs> pedal it's called tone of the gods by jd analog and i really like showing this pedal off for one you need a freaking welding helmet uh, with all the uh, bright leds because they like literally blind you a couple of them are real bright but uh but the tone is amazing <laughs> to the John Sir Riot pedal. John Sir, uh, formerly a Fender Custom Shop, builds Sir guitars and he makes amplifiers and effects pedals. <laughs> Notice I kind of switched back and forth between neck and bridge pickup when you heard it get a little thicker and fatter sound that was on the uh, the neck. Um. <laughs> full of drive pedals one they all sound different and um, so it's cool because depending on if you're you know you may not want the same drive tone for every song that you play and I certainly don't I like to be able to go back and forth um, 
I'm still working with the Tone of the Gods pedal because it's really like four pedals in one. Um, it just, it has so much as a preamp for the compressor. Uh, it's got a, like a grind channel, kind of like a Marshall, well, uh, yeah, kind of like a Marshall tone. And then it has a, a, a high voltage boost circuit, which is really cool. Um, man, you can really, something extra that the other drive pedals don't have. Um, so, the only thing about it is it's got four switches to turn off when you don't want to use it. Uh, so we'll go back to the Peacock. <laughs> gist of um, what these pedals really sound like because the amp is turned way down it's a tube amp so tube amps sound better when they're about to blow up and um, it's kind of late so I don't want to wake my neighbors up because they're nice little creatures you know <laughs> If I want to get that Eric Johnson thing, I can uh, turn on that fuzz. <laughs> trick to getting that Eric Clapton tone is you know, volume pretty much all the way up uh, tone rolled almost all the way back um, it's gonna be real like hard to nail it with these Gibson burst bucker pickups because I mean they're they're good pickups but they're not uh, they're not a true PAF so they won't they won't like pick up those overtones um, anyway so I've got a, a fuzz pedal running into the old yellow overdrive 
And the fuzz is called a hism schism, made by Adrock as well. Um, Adrock pedals are no longer in production. They've been, they went out of business a long time ago. It's actually a good friend of mine, H.L. Wilson. <laughs> combination of these three effects I think kind of kind of kills that Eric Johnson tone uh, the fuzz pedal the old yeller and then the uh, the delay um, tell, tell me what you think Sounds really cool with those those effects. It's kind of bent up, just like a semitone, and then like all of a sudden slam it with a mute and let it echo. Cool little trick, Eric Johnson. He's the man. <laughs> So uh, a lot of drive pedals so that I can get a lot of different flavors. That's kind of my Eric Johnson settings there when I'm in the mood to play some of that stuff. And uh, I'll turn those off. Um, go back to the Peacock. That's supposed to be like a Dwayne Allman in a box pedal. <laughs>
like that peacock pedal. It's got some some subtle differences. I think some of these effects I hear more pronounced bottom end than others. Some of them have a softer bottom end, some a little little uh, more rigid. Um, that peacock's got a little more softer bottom end. Let's try the riot. Now that's actually a distortion pedal and not an overdrive. And uh, I've actually got the, the, the gain turned down. But I turn it up a little bit. has a little more presence just a it almost sounds like two guitars together <laughs> So with the amp turned down, um, we're not really getting the full potential. And maybe next time I do a video, it'll be in the daytime, and uh, I'll crank it up, and we'll get the tube singing. Um, and then we can demo some more. But, I mean, for now, that's, um, that's kind of my rig rundown. So I've got... How many pedals do I have? I've got a lot. Of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. But there's like fourteen down here in use right now, and um, I actually have more, but it's probably too much. So I'm actually trying to scale back. If this looks like scaling back, um, to simplify the rig, but yet still give me enough tonal variation um, to where I can get a lot of different sounds, especially on my uh, my drive channel. So. <laughs> You guys let me know which one of the drive pedals you like the best. I'd be uh, interested to hear your, uh, your thoughts. Anyway, y'all have a good night.